There's Now TV, Penny Dreadful. <laughs> Very exciting. Do you have Now TV? I do have Now TV. Um, I got Now TV because uh, I was auditioning for season two of Penny Dreadful and realised I hadn't seen season one and didn't have Sky. So I discovered Now TV. Actually, my sister had Now TV and said, you should just get that. Oh. So I did. Good, if it's a good sales pitch for us. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. I love Now TV. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you've, you've joined the cast for season three, but you said you auditioned for season two. I did audition for season two. I had quite a strange um, journey into Penny Dreadful. I auditioned for the part of um, Angelique. Oh, right, in yes. season two. And that didn't work out for me, um, which I was really disappointed about because I'd watched season one when I got Now TV <laughs> and um, absolutely loved it mm. and thought it was something I really wanted to be part of. And then um, that didn't work out. But a year later, um, I got a call from my agent saying, John Logan has written a part for you. Wow. And I was like, no, <laughs> because that, that doesn't happen. So it doesn't happen to me. Um, I was absolutely amazed and very flattered and very honoured and thought it probably wasn't true but I'd just kind of go along with it anyway and then and then you know kept getting more calls and emails about this job happening I was absolutely amazed yes. and thrilled really thrilled and it's a brilliant part um a Angelique was an incredible part but I absolutely love what he wrote for me in this yeah so it was on the cliffhanger of episode three Oh, episode three, <laughs> episode one of season three, mm. uh, we get quite an interesting look into what's going to happen for the future for your character. Yes. What can you tell us about that journey that you would go on? It's a really interesting journey because I think Renfield, there I've said his name. I, honestly, <laughs> I've had so much like, you can't talk about it, you can't talk about him. It's so nice to be able to finally talk about him. Um, he, Renfield is obviously from the Dracula story. But who he is when we meet him in Penny Dreadful, he's playing Dr. Seward's secretary. But he's quite a sort of twisted, fairly weak and vulnerable man. And I think he's always felt um, ignored. So <laughs> Dracula comes along and kind of um, enrolls him into his way of being so that he can spy on Vanessa, who is obviously having treatment with Dr. Seward. And... Um, of course, what happens to Renfield is that he slowly, very slowly, goes mad and madder and madder throughout the season, which is really great fun to play. But what I love about Penny Dreadful anyway is that no one is ever just good or evil. It's There's always um, so many shades in, in a person's character. And even when Renfield is sort of at his maddest, um, you get a glimpse of who he really is underneath, which, which is actually just a really lonely, vulnerable person. So there's plenty of... It was great because I didn't just have to play mad. And, of course, Renfield in the original Dracula story, it has gone completely insane, and we meet him in Bedlam, basically. Um, so he does go insane, mm. but you see glimpses of the real human underneath. And does he make it through all of season two? He certainly does. Am I allowed yeah. to say all that? Yeah, I, I don't can. Know. <laughs> well, you alert. can edit it out. Spoiler <laughs> alert! He does. He makes it all the way through. Wow, that's exciting. Because mm. Angelique did not. So Angelique did not. Which you know, again, it's like, gosh, if I'd played that part, then my story might have been over by yeah. then. But no, Renfield gets gets the full nine episodes. <laughs> Very exciting. I can't wait to see the rest. Um, so that is it. Our Penny Dreadful is on season one and two on box set right now. And season three airs at 10pm on Tuesday nights on Sky Atlantic and will be available on catch up as well. Thanks very much.